If you remember nothing else, talent is everything. It is everything. And this industry is as much about human capital as it is about managing capital. You cannot, you can forget about alpha if you cannot attract and retain a winning team. And I think part of it is all, is, comes down to first defining what excellence is. People bandy about the term analyst and PM and head of business and founder, but they often mean different things depending on the fund that we're talking about. So I think it's useful to focus on the skill set. With an analyst, we're really looking for somebody who is fantastic at identifying and systematizing opportunities, acquiring information, looking for patterns to figure out what's important and what's not, and velocity of ideas. Um, with a PM, we're looking for more of a risk gene and somebody who can commit capital uh, and knows when to lean in and when to lean out, can be flexible, has uh, the ability to construct a portfolio with diversification, and has a sense of how to um, really pull the levers of sizing and, uh, uh, and positioning. And I think ahead of a business, depending again on what we're talking about, if it's somebody who sits at 0.72 or Baliasny at a top multi-manager, then we're talking about somebody who's almost like the coach of a all-star basketball team or maybe owner of a baseball team who um, has, a, has a group of all-star players and really understands how to bring the best out of them um, without micromanaging them too much and uh, can really press on the nexus of uh, ambition, uh, youth and potential. And, and ultimately, once you've identified what you're after, it's, you have to provide something that the person isn't getting where they are today. And our industry, I don't think structurally, lends itself, for the most part, to evolution because most funds, most of these 12,000 funds, are small funds. There is a founder at the top who is the committer of capital, and when you get to a point, or even if they're big funds, it, it may or may not surprise you, you could be a $30 billion single manager um, uh, fund, and when you peel back the curtain, the investing team is maybe 10, is 10 individuals who matter. So if you want to move into running a business and committing capital, you have to leave, by its very nature, you have to leave and either start your own thing or go to a multi-manager, which will give you the autonomy and the tools to be successful. Um, but ultimately, this industry is about um, wanting to be treated fairly, having agency, and being empowered. And the things that lend themselves to that are a fund's approach to compensation, uh, how much autonomy people are given, and the skills that they're learning. I think in today's environment, which has become more and more complex, uh, whether it's because of Reddit and melting ice cube shorts or just the um, uh, amount of data that everyone has access to in the industry, you, you need an infrastructure that's going to help you pair great um, ideas with superior risk management. And there are only so many funds that can teach you to do that. So that's also a big selling point for why people would leave.